Preschool, it's Miss Allison. I am going to read you another story today. This story is called Little Rabbit Boo Boo. And it's written by Michael Rosin and Arthur Robbins. Look at that fun picture. What do you think might happen in this story? There's the little rabbit here. He's on a motorcycle. And what does he have in his hand? We're going to have to find out what goes on in this book. While we read it, I want you to look at the pictures and find all kinds of things that have to do with nature. There's a lot of nature in this book. Just on the cover, there's grass and trees and animals and birds and all kinds of things. So look for that as we read it. Here's a fun picture at the very beginning with all kinds of nature in there. And then we'll start the book. Little Rabbit Foo Foo. Little Rabbit Foo Foo riding through the forest. See all the flowers and trees and mushrooms and birds. Scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. See how he's bopped them on the head? That is not a very nice thing to do. Down came the good fairy, and she said, You think she's going to be happy with him? Or not very happy with him? She's kind of doing this thing. I don't think she's very happy. She says, Little Rabbit Foo Foo, I don't like your attitude. What is an attitude? That's kind of a big word. Our attitude is how we're behaving, whether we're being kind or mean or happy or sad or grumpy. That is our attitude. So she doesn't like his attitude. <clears throat> I don't like your attitude, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. I'm going to give you three chances. How many chances? One, two, three chances to change. And if you don't, I'm going to turn you into a goon. Think he's going to change? We'll have to find out. Little Rabbit Foo Foo riding through the forest, scooping up the wriggly worms and bopping them on the head. I don't think he's changed. Down came the good fairy. And she said, Little Rabbit Foo Foo, I don't like your attitude, scooping up the wriggly worms and bopping them on the head. You've got two chances to change. How many chances now? One, two. Two chances. And if you don't, I'm going to turn you into a goon. Little Rabbit Foo Foo riding through the forest, scooping up the tigers and bopping them on the head. Down came the good fairy and she said, Little Rabbit Foo Foo, I don't like your attitude, scooping up the tigers and bopping them on the head. You've got one chance left to change. How many chances? Just one. And if you don't, I'm going to turn you into a goon. He doesn't look very happy. I don't think he wants to change. Let's see his last chance. See what he does. Little Rabbit Foo Foo, riding through the forest. Scooping up the goblins and bopping them on the head. Did he change? No, he is still being mean. And again, look at all this nature in this story. Down came the good fairy and she said, Little Rabbit Foo Foo, I don't like your attitude. Scooping up the goblins and bopping them on the head. You've got no chances left, so I'm going to turn you into a goon. Pow! And she did. The moral of the story, hair today, goon tomorrow. So really what we ought to learn from that story maybe is that we ought to be a little bit nicer to people, huh? And the back cover shows him catching more things. Okay, here are some follow-up questions for you for this story. Who are the characters in our story? Tell whoever is there with you in your family. Tell them who the characters are. I think we have the little rabbit foo-foo. We have...
the good fairy, and we have a whole bunch of other creatures. What does the rabbit do in our story? He goes around scooping up things and bopping them on the head, huh? Not very nice of him. And what does the good fairy do? She gives him chances to change. And does he change? No. So she turns him into a goon. Thank you for listening to that story. And I hope that you will try to have a good attitude in the things that you do. We'll see you next week. Bye.